Senior Fellow at the Middle East Institute, Khaled El-Gindi, joins us now in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for coming on to the program. Uh, these two groups have been at loggerheads for a decade and a half. Can they really kiss and make up now? Well, I, I think that the future of the Palestinian national movement uh, depends on it. Uh, I don't see uh, any way that Palestinians confront the many challenges they have, whether it's uh, normalization by Arab states or the blockade on Gaza or the settlement and occupation in the West Bank without some uh, form of national unity. Um, and uh, this, uh, this agreement, I think, is one necessary but not a sufficient step, I think, toward putting the Palestinian house in order. Um, you, you mentioned all these external forces uh, and the fact that they've had to sort of present this united front. Is it going to be enough, though? Is the Palestinian cause a bit lost now? <clears throat> well, I mean, certainly in the region, uh, it's fallen down on the list of priorities. Um, it's no longer a top-tier issue for most Arab states. There are other conflicts, other uh, upheavals uh, in the region. Uh, domestically and in uh, war zones in Yemen and Syria and Libya and elsewhere. Uh, and so the Arab world is preoccupied with their own set of problems, uh, as well as regional threats like Iran. But uh, for the Palestinians, obviously, uh, their freedom and their uh, reality is, uh, is, uh, is, a, is a number one priority. I, I think it's, you know, as I said, it's a necessary but an insufficient step. I think it's impossible to imagine uh, any attempt to end Israel's occupation uh, without some sort of unified uh, national uh, front of some sort. Um, but, but it won't be enough. Uh, I, I think it's just the beginning. And what about the issue of trust? Uh, because as I say, they've been at loggerheads for so long. Are they really going to be able to have a working relationship? Well, that remains to be seen. We've seen many reconciliation agreements between Hamas and Fatah and the other factions <clears throat> over the last uh, decade or so, um, some of which were partially implemented, but most of which have not really been implemented. Um, so it remains to be seen whether this is just another set of agreements um, for public consumption that never get implemented, or if, in fact, uh, these uh, political leaders are turning a new page. Um, and uh, we will have to wait and see. We'll have to see when elections are scheduled, what are the modalities for holding elections, how are, are they going to conduct elections for the Palestine National Council, uh, which is the uh, parliament of the PLO, um, as opposed to the Palestinian Authority? Uh, all of those things uh, are interconnected. And uh, will Israel allow elections in East Jerusalem, uh, for example, for any of these? That also remains to be seen. Thank you very much indeed for sharing your analysis with us.